So, so the needle is inserted. The peripheral inserted central catheter is inserting. You can see it's going easily, and he has determined the length from the. Take forceps and slowly start. Take care of that hemostasis also. You need to monitor hemostasis. Cotton, cotton. Hemostasis, cotton. Close, close to the entry. So the pick line so is pushing the the, cat, the cannula through the needle, smoothly going in. Now he is traversing to the determined length. You can see that it is easily going. He has taken all the SFT precautions. The procedure is being done and ready to warm up. So you can see that and all the sterility precautions have been taken I think yes now somebody can get the ultrasound machine and determine it's easily going what is the length you are traversed uh, no more length is left I think uh, correct so and you maintain the Hemostasis also, and you flush once actually, and see whether you okay. And now let us let us do ultrasound machine to see where the line, the tip of the line is. You can see that. Pick line. So while while the pick line is inserted. You should always confirm the tip of the pick line using bedside ultrasound. The probe is kept. You can see the probe, and this is the curvilinear probe I kept in the sub zephyr area. And you can see that the marker facing up, and this is the image. This is actually subcostal sagittal view where you can see the right atrium. When I come on, you can see, I'll zoom it, you can see that the tip is a junction of the inferior cava and right atrium. You can see the flow, you can see beautifully the flow. This is the confirmation of tip of pick line using wet cell ultrasound, which will definitely prevent the, the x ray abdomen to look for this because x ray has got more ionizing radiation. So ultrasound is safer and you can get it faster and turnaround time is prevented and successfully placed at junction of you can see that as we we'll freeze it and also show you see yeah you can see, you can see the camera the junction of this be careful that every day it should be monitored sometimes this is one of the important causes of causing cardiac tamponade. Make sure that it doesn't migrate further forward. Thank you so much. Applying insertion procedure. Dr. Manjunath has successfully inserted the cannula. And now you see, previously we used to call the x ray to confirm the tip. And the fellow who inserts the cannula used to be there till the confirmation on x-ray you could see but now multiple times we used to see the x-rays now you see we use the ultrasound machine and using the ultrasound machine as soon as we insert in the catheter we could 
identify the tip of the supplying impression and uh, successfully we have done it. The only thing is the advantage of uh, having this uh, ultrasound is we can monitor the tip of the supplying every day. What exactly happens sometimes you will find it traverses further inside and then it may cause cardiac cancer. That is the reason I think we had one of, one of a few years back, we had a scenario where we inserted a cannula and he started to have swinging heart rate and deep circulation. And the midst of night, we could find it was a cardiac cancer and we could actually manage successfully that child. So, always monitor. That is the usefulness of using special ultrasound in the recognition of tip of Good, very nice. Good thing, Ramanjana.